where we bring you inspiration from our space to your space. Hello there, Kid Spacers. Welcome to another Friday evening worship session. Wow, I hope you missed us during the week. We missed you. And we're going to have a wonderful time. Now, just a few things. Just to remind you boys and girls and parents, mommies and daddies, that for this season, we are deliberately using our Bibles so that our boys and girls can be acquainted with the Word of God and know that all the stories that they have been hearing comes from the Word of God. Okay, now we have exciting things coming up for you. Guess what? The kids spacers were out. It was graduation season and you know at graduation they have awards ceremony. And guess what? The kids spacers went out and we awarded boys and girls for Christian leadership. Yes, because we believe that is very important to children's spiritual growth. They ought to be recognized when they lead out in a Christ-like way. And so Auntie Carla was at New Green Primary. And we want to say congratulations to Javon Hall and Chrisani Peart. They were the awardees for Christian leadership at New Green Primary. And you'll see Auntie, Auntie Carla right there on screen. And then I went to Coleville Early Childhood Institution and we awarded boys and girls there as well. And you can see their little faces. They were so excited to know that they led out in a Christ-like way and they were being recognized for it. And we went to West Indies College Preparatory School and we handed out awards. Their kids' spacers were up and going, ready to recognize good Christian leadership. And we want to say congratulations to Jemima Olipe and Kelis Reed. Congratulations. Keep on being Christ-like and keep on shining for Jesus. Next week, I will tell you about our new Kid Space features. Stay with us. Continue to like and pray for us and subscribe. Oh, by the way, thank you so much. I see that we have new subscribers. Welcome and share the video, like the video, and let other boys and girls know that we love them. And baby, baby Zara is getting tired. Now run along, get those Bibles. We'll be right back with story time. Right, Zara? See you. Welcome back, Kid Spacers. And yes, we are here with all the boys and girls. Say hi. Hi. All right. And I will do a quick introduction for the boys and girls. You know some of them. Now, this one is CJ. Say hi, CJ. Say hi to the boys and girls. Hi to the boys and girls. <laughs> and he's my grand nephew. Yes, I did say grand nephew. Yes, and he's spending a little time with us, and he's so excited about Kid Space, and he wanted to be on Kid Space. And of course, we have Zoe. Say hi to the boys and girls, Zoe. Hi. Nice. And Raheem, say hi to the boys and girls. Hi. And then we have a new little one, and her name is Zalia, right? Azalia or Zalia? Zalia. Zalia, say hi to the boys and girls. Hi, boys and girls. Nice. And of course, we have Keandra. Say hi to the boys and girls. Hi, boys and girls. Nice. And then we're going to welcome... Oh, by the way, we have Auntie Sarah. Yay. Hi, <laughs> And boys baby and girls. Zyra, our kids space baby. And now we're going to give them the kids space welcome. So, welcome to... Kids Space! We weren't ready. Come on, let's go. Welcome the boys and girls. Welcome to... Kids Space! Where we bring you inspiration from... Our space to your space! Yay! And right now we're going to go into our song service, but we're going to pray, boys and girls. Clasp your hands and close your eyes. All right. Let's say a quick prayer, okay? Clasp your hands and close your eyes. All right. Father in heaven, we want to thank you for the little boys and girls. We want to thank you for another worship session. And as we praise you, I pray that you'll wash our hearts and cleanse our hearts and help us to have a good time with you, dear Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. And now it's time for our song service. All right, Auntie Sarah, are you ready? I'm ready. Boys and girls, are you ready? Yes, I'm oh, oh, so 
Are you ready for song service? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Ah. All right, boys and girls out there, I know you're ready. Let's go. Auntie Sarah, what's our first song? God's love is so wonderful. Wow, do you know that one? Yes, Auntie Anna. All right, boys and girls, let's sing. Let's go. After, after two? two? One, two. God's love is so wonderful. God's love is so wonderful. God's love is so wonderful. Oh, wonderful love. It's so high. It's so high. You can't get under it. So low. You can't get under it. So wide. You can't get And do we have another one? I've got peace like a river. All right, I've got peace like a river. Okay, Rahim, I know you want to sing, <laughs> but let's go after two. One, two. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river in my soul. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river in my soul. I've got joy. I've got joy like a fountain. I've got joy. Stop with some fountain. I've got joy like a fountain in my soul. Sing up with us. I've got joy like a fountain. I've got joy like a fountain. I've got joy like a fountain in my soul. And did you enjoy some service, boys and girls? Yes, Auntie Anna. And guess what time it is? Auntie it's Anna. time for Art and Craft. Craft. Yes, boys and girls, join us for Art and Craft. Mm. Welcome kids spacers, welcome back to our art and craft session. Guess what? With of course Auntie Carla. And I trust you had an awesome week and you were just waiting to do your art and craft session. Remember the last time we told you that you needed what? Hard paper, yes, you needed cartridge paper as well and you need your crayons, scissors and glue. So we're here this week and our focus is on Queen Esther, yes. Esther, at a very young age, she was an orphan. Mommy and daddy passed, and so her uncle Mordecai had to take care of her. And Mordecai took care, great care of Esther, so much to the point that when the, when the king of Persia needed a queen, guess who they were looking at? Esther, because her uncle take very good care of her, teaching her the word of the Lord and everything that she needed to do. And so for art and craft section this week, we are going to be focusing on a stop sign. Now this stop sign is a symbol that we should never ever stop caring for others. As a matter of fact, the scripture says in Hebrews 13 verse 1, Keep on loving one another as brothers and sisters. And so even when Esther became queen, Mordecai still took great care of her. And the message says, God's people care for each other. So our stop sign today is a symbol that we should never ever stop caring for each other. We should love each other as brothers and sisters. And so I do know that there are some stop signs that are hexagonal and some are circle and so today we're going to be doing the circle shape so just run ahead get your items that you need and be right back here so I'm going to begin by making the circle so I have a tin that I'm using maybe in your home you have a, a bottle or a pot or something just ask for some help and we're going to begin by making our circle so we are doing the circle stop sign all right if anyone should ask you so i did one on my cartridge paper and now i'm going to do one on my heavy paper you may call it cardboard and if you have of course at home cereal box you can also go ahead and use that all right so we're making the circle 
once you're through making both circles all right or you could at least just glue it down to this and then you could make one cut out so let us do that because it may be simpler for us to do so we're going to be covering our our backing remember to get some help and if anyone should ask you remember what your stop sign is about that no matter what is happening no matter how old we get we should always be caring for each other because that's what the Lord wants of us just like in the story of Esther Queen Esther all right good so we have it nicely glued down and so we're going to go ahead and we're going to be cutting out our stop sign, which is a circle, a circular shaped stop sign. Remember, you're not to handle the scissors on your own. Mommy, daddy, bigger sister, cousin, aunt, big brother, someone who is older than you should be guiding you while you're doing this. And we never ever keep our art and craft to ourselves. We're going to be sharing it with others so that they too can know about Jesus. So here we go. Now stop sign is usually red, right? So we're going to be coloring our stop sign. And in the middle of it, we're going to write the word stop. And that's S T O. P. And I also want you to write this message in it. God's people care for each other. God's people care for each other. All right, awesome. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to color. When we love each other, we take care of them no matter what. When you love your parents, you keep taking care of them no matter how old they get. They are your responsibility to take care of. And we, one thing that we can be reminded of, God takes care of all of us. No matter how bad we are, no matter the, the bad things we have done, he's still going to take care of us because he takes care of the birds and the bees and he ensures that they get everything that they need. And he will do just that for us. And he has been doing that all right so perfect you should have your stop sign by now remember God's people take care of each other and this is your sign symbol that Mordecai did not stop taking care of his niece Esther even when she became queen remember to share it with someone kids spacers and remind them of God's love now for next week you are going to need a star pattern you're going to need some foil paper you are going to need your cardboard backing of course your crayons would be good too if you don't have foil paper you're going to need scissors and glue as well so see you next week bye kids spacers okay that was a beautiful art and craft, boys and girls. Auntie Carla continues to do a fabulous job in art and craft. Did you enter art and craft, boys and girls? Yes, Auntie Anna. All right. And guess what? You know that Auntie Carla was telling you the story over there in art and craft, right? She was telling the story. So you should have some points from listening and watching art and craft, right, boys and girls? Yes, Auntie Anna. Very good. And so we're going to, you two boys and girls, and so we're going to talk about the story. And the story that we're going to be talking about today, we're going to be talking about Queen Esther. Who are we going to be talking about? Queen Esther. Yes. And guess what? Before Esther became a queen, she was a little girl, just like you, Kendra, and you, Zalia. She was a little girl. And guess what happened? She did not have any mommy and she did not have any daddy. Do you boys and girls have mommies because and daddies? 
Yes. Uh, you have mommies and daddies? Yes, Auntie Anna. But Esther didn't have a mommy and daddy, but somebody very special took care of Esther. Who, all right, the hands are going up. Remember, you put your hand up. Yes? Mordecai. Mordecai. And Mordecai was Esther's cousin. Yes, Rahim? I, um, he take care of her when she become a queen. Yes, he took very good care of Esther. And you know, some of the things that Mordecai taught Esther was to be helpful. Was to do what, boys and girls? <gasps> to be helpful. And to be kind as well. Are you boys and girls kind? Yes, Auntie Anna. Yes, and so also he taught her how to worship and how to praise God. Do you worship and praise God? Yes, Auntie Anna. What are some of the things that you do to praise God? Pray. Yes, we pray to praise God. What else do we do to praise God, Rahim? Uh, we tell him. We tell others about him. Yes, we tell others about him. What do you do to praise God? We love God. We love God. Loving God is praising God, boys and girls. And so Mordecai taught Esther all those beautiful things. And you know what, boys and girls? Next week, we are going to learn what happened to Esther. Because Esther was a sweet, and CJ is having fun all by himself. Esther was a sweet little Jewish girl. And next week, we're going to learn more about Esther. So stay tuned. But before we go, we have a special memory text from the Bible. I have my Bible here, boys and girls. And I hope you have your Bible. Let your mommy and daddy read from the Bible. Hold on, Rahim. We are going to read Hebrews 13, verse 1. What are we going to read? Hebrews 13 verse 1. And it says, keep on loving one another as brothers and sisters. Let's say that together. Keep on loving one another as brothers and sisters. Very good. And there's a very important message as well. And the message says, God... God's people care for each other. What's the message? God's people care for each other. All right, boys and girls out there, you must care for each other. So join us next week on Kids Space to learn more about Queen Esther. Let's say bye to the boys and girls. Bye. bye. Say bye. bye boys and girls. See you next week. Okay, bigger boys and girls, if you're ages 7 to 9, this segment is for you. We are in our Discover More segment, right, where we use our Bibles. Now, remember, we are using our Bibles, right, boys and girls? Yes, and all these boys and girls, they have their Bibles, right? But just before we get into the story, let's welcome them. Let's give them the Kid Space welcome. So, welcome to Kid Space! Where we bring you inspiration from... Our space to, to your space. space. That's right. All right, this week we're going to be continuing to look at Josiah. Now, remember last week, boys and girls, we look at the story of Josiah, that Josiah did what was right, right in the sight of, of the Lord. Lord. Very good. He was not like his father nor his grandfather because they did wrong. They did bad things right but Josiah was not like that Josiah wanted to obey God and he wanted to do what was right in God's sight now the summary of the lesson who can give us um some points a summary of the lesson I will Auntie Anna go ahead um Joshua the summary of the lesson mm -hmm. is hidden treasure mm -hmm. right so there was a treasure that Josh, um, Josiah rather, discovered. Talk to us about it. Okay. The story is about a hidden treasure, which yes. is the book of the law. Yes. Which it was lost in, it was lost, it was lost during King Josiah's grandfather's reign. Right. It was found in the temple when they were rebuilding it. Right. It was given to Shaphan by the high priest Hilkiah. 
Shaphan brought it to King Josiah and read it yes. to him.、Mm -hmm. King Josiah listened carefully, and then he began to cry,、mm -hmm. because the book of the law said that the people would be punished because they worshipped idols and turned away from God. Wow. Yes, was that a good thing? No. Is it a good thing to worship idols? No, no Auntie Anna. That's correct. Who should we worship? God. Right. And so, um, Joshua, you gave us the first part. A very good summary. Thank you very much. Now, after Josiah read, um, the the the, the scroll with the law, and he cried. Because it's, he, he could not imagine that the people were doing all these bad things. What did Josiah want the people to do? Now, okay, Louise, do you remember? Yes, Auntie Anna.、Mm -hmm. Well, no. Well, all right, and that's okay too. Sometimes we study and we don't really remember. But Josiah now wanted the people to do what was good and what was right in the eyes of the Lord. So Josiah wanted the people to do what now? Put away their Idols and to do what? To worship God, the true and living God. And indeed, Josiah did call the people together, and he said, "Listen, this is the law of God, and we should do what is right in the eyes of the Lord." And did the people obey? Yes, they did. Yes, they did. And so, boys and girls, you know what happened? As Christians, do you know that we should be telling others about the love of God?、Yes. Should we do that?、Um, yes. Yes, and, yes, and when we see other people doing wrong things, or even our friends at school, boys and girls, do we correct them as Christians? Yes, yes and yes. Yes, and sometimes it is scary, don't it? Yes, Because sometimes they don't want to listen to what you have to say. But what can you do to help you to tell others about God? What can you do?、Um, we can invite them to church. We can invite them to church. But if we're scared to go to them and we don't have the strength to do it, what do you think we can do? We can pray. We can pray and ask God to help us. And so there are special messages from the story, boys and girls. The, the essence of it is that Josiah called the people back to worship. Let's say that for the boys and girls now. Josiah called the people back to worship, right? And before we get into, I'm sure you read the the story from your Bibles, right? Because you do have Bibles, boys and girls. We're using our Bibles for this season, right? And we are going to take our special memory verse from Psalm 119, 105. And then we're going to take our important points. You studied the lesson, right? Yes, Auntie Anna. And you have some important messages, right? Yes, Auntie Anna. Very good. All right, let's read the memory verse for the boys and girls. Psalm one nineteen one o five from your Bibles, boys and girls. All right. Let me read. I am reading from the New King James Version, and then you can go ahead and read your version. All right. It says, "Your word is a lamp unto my feet." And a light onto my path. All right, boys and girls, go ahead and read in your Bibles. After two, one, two. Your, your word is a lamp onto my feet and a light to my path. No, I think Joshua has a different version. You have the King James version, right? All right, go ahead and read your text from that one because maybe you have that too. Go ahead.、Please. Thy word is a lamp onto my feet. And a light unto my path. Very good. And so it's saying almost the same thing. Well, yes, kind of different version, but the same thing. All right, let's run along into those very important messages as you read this story about Josiah. Anybody wants to share their important point? Yes, Auntie Emma. Go ahead, Kay Louise. Um, I got a point from this lesson, and it was, um, God can use a child to do His work. Wonderful. God can use a child to do His work. Anybody else? Wants to share? Yes, Alan, I'm coming to you. God loves us very much, and He wants us to obey the seven commandments. All right. God loves us very much, and He wants us to obey. She says all His commandments, right? Yes. And the commandments are found in the book of Genesis 
Exodus, Exodus, the second book of the Bible. All right, thank you for that important point. What about yours? God wants us to follow in his footsteps. God wants us to follow in his footsteps. And that means to do what now? Things that... God would want us to do. Yes, and where do we find those things that God wants us to do? Where? In his? Bible. In his word. All right, let's wrap up this segment and take Joshua's very important point. Joshua wasn't going to leave you out. I remember you. Go ahead. My very important point mm -hmm. is when we read the word of God and obey his will, we can, we can obey and study the word of God. And when we obey the word of God, mm -hmm. we we are blessed yes but when we don't obey the word of god we are punished just like the people got, were punished that's correct that's very powerful and to close this segment that brings me to a very very um a little song that i want to sing just to end this off about what you say in terms of growing in the lord when we study the word of the lord so read your bibles pray every day and we go, go, go. Let's do that quickly as we end the segment, boys and girls. Read your Bible, pray every day, pray every day, pray every day. Read your Bible, pray every day, and you grow, grow, grow. And you grow, grow, grow. And you grow, grow, grow. You grow, grow, grow. Read your Bible, pray every day. Thank you so much boys and girls for participating in your lesson and boys and girls out there we want to grow in jesus do you want to grow in jesus boys and girls yes yes Auntie Auntie Anna. Anna. so let's say to the boys and girls let's grow, grow. in jesus let's grow in jesus so reading his words show them your bibles okay until next week boys and girls let's tell them bye, bye. stay tuned for our next video as we continue to explore more about the Word of God for boys and girls ages 10 to 12 coming up in the next five minutes.